A group of state legislators is proposing a sales tax holiday for Wisconsin. Now that holiday would take place during back to school shopping. News Tree's Chris Gothner joins us with more tonight, Chris. Yeah, Eric and Susan, the proposed sales tax holiday is meant to give a boost to parents who are shopping for those back to school essentials like school supplies, laptops, and clothes. I talked to both a parent and a retail expert who say a sales tax holiday would be beneficial for consumers. Anytime you can save money as a parent, it's great. Back to school shoppers could get a boost come August if a sales tax holiday proposal passes the Wisconsin legislature. It would be over a two day period starting the first Saturday of the month. Wisconsin would join 18 states who already have a sales tax holiday. Parent Terry Rank says she's experienced the benefits firsthand. I stopped at an outlet mall in August in um, Iowa. And they told me that it was a Friday and they said, you know what, this is the start of the sales tax weekend or and I was didn't know what that was and I saved a, gr a good amount of money. Wisconsin's proposed tax holiday would have limits on the price of each piece of clothing, computer or school supply you buy. A UW retailing expert says it would be a great deal for consumers. And consumers get more bang for their buck. Uh, retailers get an opportunity to draw more people perhaps into their store. It might even be a little easier to plan sales. You know that's going to be a big day. Now, O'Brien says whether businesses would see a significant benefit remains to be seen. From a retailer point of view, they hope that they'll actually spend more because there's that discount involved. Um, that's probably the big question, whether the consumers have enough confidence to take advantage of it or if they'll minimize their spending and keep the savings in their pocket. As for Terry Rank's time in Iowa. I actually spent a little more because I did find some absolute benefits from that. Now, the state can't predict how much money it would lose on a sales tax holiday, but a provision in the bill would allow the Department of Revenue to suspend the holiday if, the, if it determines the state can't afford that. Yeah, they could try it, see how mm -hmm. it works out, mm -hmm. and then go from there. All right, Chris, interesting. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you, Chris.